to another video of circuit digest in this video i'll show you how the iot based smart attendance system works so here we have the hardware which consists of an arduino uno connected to a wi-fi shield that we built earlier that has the esp8266 on top of it and an lcd and over here we have the fingerprint module which is the gt511c3 the complete setup is powered by a 12 volt adapter and whatever input is given will be reflected on our ThinkSport server on this dashboard. So as you can see, we already have an entry from an employee named Tony and the time and date is marked against him. So let's proceed with a few more entries. I have already enrolled my fingerprints on this along with the name. So let's go ahead and try one. So for this particular finger, you'll get Steve. So it said, thank you, Steve. And you can also see the entry on our IoT dashboard. So it says the name. Sorry for the zoom in problem. My camera is facing some difficulty. So let me get it right. Mm, come on. Okay, here we go. So you can see Steve at 1.33 on today's date. So let us proceed with few more entries. So this finger should enroll Natasha and you can see Natasha over here at 134, sorry, so 134. So let's do a few more entries and check how the names are being displayed on the dashboard. So let's proceed with Steve again. And if you place the finger wrong, as you can see, the alignment is wrong here. So it says unknown try again. So if you place an unenrolled finger or if you place your finger in a wrong orientation, it will say unknown. So let's do a few more entries. So this thing, let me get it right. Okay, so it's Natasha yeah so we have done few more entries let's check and as you can see every entry is being updated on the things board server so the cool thing about this dashboard with things board is that you can uh, you can like view it in different ways for example right now it's in real time you can also check the history for example if, if this system has been happening for a long time you can sort it based on the date and month and you can also check who has checked in in the past five hours or ten hours and you can sort the data accordingly so you will get the complete uh, data sorted according to your uh, filters so you can also um, arrange the uh, name in name why for example here you can see when tony has checked in and checked out for example over here we have the date and time on the left hand side let me zoom that okay so here you can see the date and time on the left hand side, the timestamp and the employee name on the right hand side. So using this, you can tell when a particular employee on a particular date has come in or come out. So that's it guys. This is how the project works. As always, you can find the circuit diagram and the complete description in the link of the video. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.